What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and today I'm predicting the outcome of Jay Harris versus Julio Cesar Martinez, which will be for the WBC World Flyweight Championship. It will be on the undercard of Mikey Garcia versus Jesse Vargas, Saturday, February 29th, at the Frisco Center in Frisco, Texas. Excuse me, at the Ford Center in Frisco, Texas. Uh, to get into both fighters, uh, Jay Harris, the challenger, he's 17-0, nine wins by knockout, comes out of Wales, located in the United Kingdom. Um, in his last fight, he got a win over a 6-2 fighter in the United Kingdom. And I believe he won a WBC uh, regional title there, so there's no controversy in him getting this WBC title shot. Overall, I'm not really sure. Um, how he is as a fighter. I haven't really seen many clips on him. But all I know is that he's undefeated. He seems pretty determined to get this belt. And he's also... Boxer has him at number 26 in the flyweight division. While his opponent, Boxer has ranked him at number 2. Boxer goes over a point system. So I won't be surprised if they have Terrace at 26. Who knows, he could have skills that he's been hiding till this moment and that we haven't seen yet. But to get into his opponent, Julio Cesar Martinez, 15 and one, 12 by knockout. He's the current WBC flyweight champ. In his last fight, he got a TKO win over Christopher Rosales on the, uh, I believe it was the Estrada card. I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the Estrada card, but I know it was some design card with a pretty decent main event. But this um, card is stacked. Once again, it has Joseph Parker, uh, Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas, and Chaco Gatito as well as Kali Yafai. But to move in more on Martinez, he originally fought Charlie Edwards who was the WBC champion at the time, dropped him, but accidentally hit him to the liver while he was a down opponent. WBC originally ruled Martinez a champ, then overruled it to a no contest. I feel like he could have won that fight if he didn't hit him in the liver. He was outboxing him, he was landing his power punches. And Martinez's only feet came early in his career and he's bounced back as now he's a world champ. And, um, as I said, his last fight was a knockout victory. And at the outcome, I feel like he's going to get a TKO victory. Likely, probably the mid-round. Maybe the same um, area where his last fight ended. Like round number 9, 8, 7, maybe round 10. But as those British fighters, they have good heart. They could stay in there. So possibly... Um, maybe around 10, 11, or 12. I don't know. But I think Martinez is going to get the stoppage, though. So, yep. Yeah, final, I'm going to say round number 9 stoppage for Martinez. That's my final prediction. Um, yeah, ninth round TKO for Martinez. He'll probably land some of his power combinations early. I do think he's a force to be reckoned with in the lightweight, excuse me, the feather, excuse me, the flyweight division. He's young, only at age 25, and he's definitely a good fighter. That's really it. I'm going to be boxing, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.